After their affair was exposed, Amy Robach and T.J. Holmes moved on. When Amy Robach and T.J. Holmes were caught in New York this week paying a telltale visit to a real estate agent, they gave the public a signal that their relationship may be developing more seriously. Only a few months after their relationship was made public last year, the former GMA3 anchors claimed they were preparing to buy a new house together. According to the Daily Mail, Amy and T.J., who were sacked from their roles on the ABC show as a result of their relationship, were spotted entering and exiting visiting the reality show where they spent an hour. For the couple, who were close friends and co-workers before their relationship developed romantically, this would be a significant step. When images of them piling on the PDA over a Thanksgiving getaway surfaced, they shocked the country. Both parties had been married for 12 years. Actor Andrew Shu from Melrose Place is no longer married to Amy, and TJ is divorcing Marilee Fiebig, the mother of his youngest child, Sabine. On January 27th, an ABC spokeswoman issued the following statement, After several fruitful discussions with Amy Robach and TJ Holmes about various alternatives, we all concluded it's best for them to leave ABC News. We appreciate their contribution and applaud their talent and dedication over the years. Since then, they have stopped posting on social media and TJ has deleted all of his. The two are thought to have become close while participating in a marathon together. Before their relationship was made public, he referred to her as his best friend in an interview with the New York Post. I am a really, really lucky person, he said when the magazine asked how he felt about his part in the ABC sitcom. I now have the job of my dreams, and while I'm doing it, I get to do it next to my best friend. In addition, he said, I never ever ever could have imagined things working out the way they have. He made these remarks before he and Amy ran the New York Marathon. He was not informed that he would be fired from the show weeks later when he gave the interview in October.